Are you looking for a new sleeping pad, hearing tons of recommendations for the Thermarest Neo Air X-Lite and the Nemo Tensor, but having troubles deciding on which one you should choose? I've slept on both of these sleeping pads for dozens of nights each, I've determined which one is the best. We're going to compare both these sleeping pads, starting with the price. I have the regular wide version for both, so that's what we're going to be looking at. The Thermarest Neo Air X-Lite costs $220 US, whereas the Nemo Tensor costs just a little bit less at $200. But then for weight, the Nemo Tensor is a little bit heavier at 540 grams, whereas the Thermarest Thermarest X-Lite weighs 440 grams, so the Thermarest X-Lite is quite a bit lighter. The Tensor and the X-Lite use different materials for the outer shell, and it's going to affect a couple different factors. The Thermarest X-Lite uses a 30 denier ripstop nylon for its outer material, whereas the Nemo Tensor uses a 20 denier polyester. And the first thing that that is going to affect is durability. Nylon is a more durable material than polyester, and 30 denier is a thicker fabric than 20 denier. And like I said, while well, I've had dozens of nights on both these pads without any failures, based on my research, there's more anecdotal reports of failures with the Nemo Tensor versus the X-Lite. Noise is another factor that's affected by that outer material, but there's also some other things at work, so we'll get into noise a little bit later. But the nylon versus polyester results in some differences in hand feel as well. The polyester is a little bit softer, a little bit stretchier, whereas the nylon on the X-Lite is just a little bit scratchier and a little bit firmer. An area where the Tensor stands out versus the X-Lite is in sustainability. The Tensor is made with 100% recycled and blue sign materials, and that is awesome. Warmth is an area where these pads have a lot in common. Both have an R value of 4.2. That's if you pick up the 2022 version of the Tensor. And that's due to the technologies that the two pads use in order to keep you warm. The X-Lite uses thermocapture technology, which is a bunch of reflective film that's suspended throughout the pad. And that reflective film is going to reflect heat back to you and prevent heat loss to the ground. It also prevents convective heat loss with the triangular core matrix that's inside of that. Triangular core matrix prevents air from moving throughout the pad a lot. And that's going to help keep you warm as well. The Nemo Tensor also uses reflective film in order to reflect heat back up to you. They call it thermal mirror. And in the 2022 version, the reason why they're able to increase the R value is due to a TPU film that they now also have throughout the pad that helps with that convective heat loss by preventing air from moving around. R value doesn't tell you the whole picture when it comes to warmth out in the real world. So I've done a lot of testing with both these sleeping pads. When I'm out there, I measure the ground temperature as well as air temperature and take into account what I'm sleeping in as well as my sleep insulation. And based on all that testing, I've determined that both these sleeping pads sleep about the same level of warmth. Now let's talk about ease of use with the two pads. And that generally comes down to how easy it is to inflate them and deflate them. Both have a pretty good valve system and they have pump sacks that come with the sleeping pads in order to inflate the bag. The Nemo Tensor uses a valve that they call the Lalo valve, whereas the Thermarest X-Lite uses the wing lock valve. Both valves work pretty well and using the pump sacks is relatively easy and fast with both the pads, but there are a couple finicky factors with both of them. With the X-Lite, the seal for the inflation bag to the valve is not super tight. So sometimes if you're trying to inflate the pad in an awkward position, like if it's inside of a tent, then it will sometimes pop off, which is really annoying. Both use a one-way valve. So as you push air into the sleeping pads, air doesn't come out. But with the Nemo Tensor, the inflation bag attaches to the valve very tightly. And as you pull it out, if you don't hold the valve down, it's gonna pull out that one-way valve and dump all the air from inside of the pad. So it's pretty much a wash with inflation of these pads. They inflate quickly, but have a couple of finicky factors. There is a difference with deflation. Because of the triangular core matrix and it not allowing air to move around super easily in the pad, it does take a little bit more effort to deflate the Thermarest X-Lite, whereas with the Nemo Tensor, as soon as you pop that valve, almost all the air dumps out right away. Now let's get into what I think is the most important factor with sleeping pads, and that's comfort. Starting off with how thick the pads are, the X-Lite is 2.5 inches thick, whereas the Nemo Tensor is three inches thick. So you get a little bit more thickness with the Nemo Tensor. If you tend to bottom out on your shoulder or hip when you're sleeping on your side, then the Nemo Tensor may be a better way to go in that regard. We already touched on the differences in materials of the two pads. Like I said, the Nemo Tensor is a little bit softer and a little bit stretchier of a material where it's not quite as nice to lay on the Thermarest X-Lite and that's gonna affect comfort. And that material difference combined with the reflective insulation that's used inside these pads leads to some differences in how noisy the pads are. Let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. So first up the X-Lite, then the Nemo Tensor. Big difference. A big factor that I find with sleeping pads is how the baffles are designed. Both use horizontal baffles, but the Nemo Tensor has a space frame technology, which leads to some dimples within the baffles. So you can see on here, there's some connection points from the top of the pad to the bottom, creating these dimples. And those dimples help relieve pressure points as you're sleeping throughout the night. 
And I find that difference in baffle technology between the X-Lite and Tensor especially noticeable when I'm sleeping on my side. When I'm sleeping on this, my side on the X-Lite, sometimes my arm will fall asleep as I'm sleeping, whereas with the Tensor, that doesn't happen as much. Generally, while the X-Lite is a pretty comfortable pad, the Nemo is a much more comfortable pad, one of the most comfortable pads in the market. Both pads are good, and which one you should choose really depends on your priorities. If you want a pad that's a little bit more durable and lightweight, then go with the X-Lite, whereas if you want a pad that really prioritizes comfort, then go with the Nemo Tensor. We talked about R-Value, but if you're still not sure what R-Value is, go check out this video where I explain everything you need to know about R-Value and let you know how you can use it in order to pick a sleeping pad that's going to keep you toasty warm.